Hi there, this is going to be a daily reading for Monday, October 1st. And yes, it's October already. Two months left of 2018. That flew by, didn't it? This is going to be general, so this is going to be for all signs. Um, if it resonates, it resonates. If it doesn't, it doesn't. Reminder for Libra Sun Signs that your readings are now on sale. If you want to book a reading with me, please click on the box below. If you want to follow me on Instagram, xi underscore missy underscore xi, there is a link below. If you follow me there, you know that I did a live reading today and it was fucking epic. Talking about all of the new energy that's coming in, new love, and it's, you know, a past life person, past life relationship, and it was fucking epic. If you, I'm telling you, if you didn't watch it, go do so. I try to go live there as much as I can to do a free spread while two cards immediately, excuse me, three cards immediately, jeez. Okay, we're going to take it. This is the Keepers of the Light deck. First card we have is El Moria. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Awakening Presence. Oof, Awakenings. The universe is with you. Wear a cloak of protection and love. And then we have Commander Ashtar, Call to Action. Take charge, lead by example, walk your talk. And then we have Master Buddha. Increased awareness, deep connection, trust your inner voice. Mm, beautiful Whew, let's go ahead and read it from the book i know it's kind of boring to some people but listen this is very important i love the description of the um of each card in the book el moria is a spiritual name that was given to protect the identity of ranbur singh a spiritually aware man born into a powerful family that ruled Kashmir, a region in the indian subcontinent in the 19th century it is said that he interceded both spiritually and physically to stop the British invasion of the region in 1845. This wise soul is now able to help us remove any energy from our life that is not serving our connection to God or source energy. He is a wonderful guide to call on if we are unsure if something is real or not. He helps awaken our I am presence, which is our truest connection to our soul and to the universe itself. If you guys have followed me for a while, you guys know that I absolutely love the term, the, the saying, I am that I am. Um, it's also why, you know, I have my I am love candle, you know, it's, the link is below, but I believe it's still out of stock. Um, that's here it is. I am which is our truest connection to our soul and to the universe itself. Spiritual protection is important at this time. <clears throat> Ensure that you are cleansing your energy before putting on protection. El Moria is here with a legion of angels to help you understand where you are at now. Fire up your divine connection and detach from dramas, people, places, and emotions that no longer serve you. Remember that within you, there is a mighty soul light. Allow that light to shine through your entire being. Then call on El Moria and his angels to surround you in a light that will keep you safe on all levels. Also know that facing fears and seeing the truth will strengthen your connection to the universal life force. This is about us connecting back to the I, I am that I am energy you also have commander ashtar call to action beautiful a lot of people are getting that call to action ashtar also known as commander ashtar is a multi-dimensional being who promotes truth peace and harmony between planets he is said to be an extraterrestrial but appears in human form so that he can communicate at heart level with all those on earth who call on him he is part of the great white brotherhood a congregation of light beings who work to bring healing to the world and is a wonderful guide to those who are feeling the call to bring positivity healing and inspiration to those around them he lifts up the hearts of leaders and inspires them to walk their path with complete integrity. You are receiving a call to action and being asked to step up and create the changes you want to see in the world. Divine inspiration is all around you and Ashtar and his legion of cosmic angels are standing by to offer you loving support. Know that you are being encouraged to be honest, assertive, and true in a loving way. You may feel your ego trying to hold you back, but know that when you take the first step, the next one will soon follow. Take some time to connect with the universe by looking up at the stars, knowing that there are loving beings of light gazing back down on you. You are not alone. Then we have Master Buddha. After I read this, we will go ahead and get some tarot cards going here. The Buddha, 
Siddhartha Gautama started his life as a rich, mollycoddled prince, but one day he broke free from the palace and was exposed to sickness, age, and death. This shook him and set him off on a spiritual adventure that would lead him to leave behind all earthly pleasures and seek enlightenment so that he could end suffering in the world. Now he helps us make contact with our inner teacher and encourages us to acknowledge how we feel and then accept it so that we can move beyond the suffering we feel. You are moving beyond the illusions that fear has created so that you can be more focused on your priorities and what is serving you on this path. All suffering eventually comes to an end and acknowledging how you really feel and what occurred in order for you to feel this way will help you move beyond it. Call on Master Buddha now to help you remember that you are part of something that is greater than suffering. The wheel of karma is turning in your favor and all of your acts of kindness and goodness will benefit you. Thoughts may arise now that dissolve issues in your life, home, relationships, or work. They are being sent to you from your inner teacher inner teacher the buddha within all right let's get some cards going now we do have venus going retrograde in scorpio on october 5th we also have pluto going direct today as you guys know pluto is the ruling planet of scorpio venus will be retrograde in scorpio um jupiter will also be going into scorpio so it's a lot of scorpio pluto energy and as we just talked about with the master buddha card here we have the wheel of fortune that wheel is starting to turn this wheel is going to turn if you've learned your lessons karmic lessons are learned the wheel turns what happens when the wheel turns well this, this means that that karmic cycle that you were just in it's going to end and it also means that abundance now flows in you reaping what you sowed is basically the point okay so if you planted seeds of good intentions it's all coming back to you now um it's going to be a very exciting month october is just going to be lit it's harvest time good lord we're not taking all of that we're not taking that but we are taking this the lovers possibly a gemini energy the lovers is uh making a decision in love maybe now that this wheel is turning it's also bringing you a counterpart someone that is it's like a sacred union here with the lovers also you know? sexual union but sacred union also something that can be very ancient so this could be a soulmate that you meet that is someone from many past lives someone that you've known very well spiritually soulfully even if you haven't met them in this life but for some of you this is also making a decision in love more importantly though i gotta be honest i feel like this is part of the abundance is you finally meeting someone that has been divinely guided to you it's almost as if it's divine timing now because it's also with the wheel of fortune all about divine timing in divine timing this person comes in and if you watched my reading i did i don't know i think it was what last week about the the real counterpart appears you know so this is that energy right here coming in hot the real counterpart appears the other half of you huh? soulmate twin flame listen whatever resonates yeah there it is the fucking ace of cups jesus this was a karmic lesson for a lot of people the lesson of self-love that you have your own cup that you need to fill first and foremost it's not about filling somebody else's cup you have to make sure your cup is full because how the fuck are you going to pour from an empty cup self-love is everything i am love it all starts with this. You've learned that lesson. The wheel turns. Now here comes your abundance. And abundance is all things. It can be finances. It can be new opportunities. And also love. Ace of Cups. My cup runneth over. It's also meeting someone that you're going to have this new emotions with. This new beginning in love. You know? Aces are, new be aces are like gifts from the universe. And aces are also new things. New beginnings is beautiful absolutely beautiful and i have a feeling this is not just going to be for monday october 1st it might be the running energy for who knows maybe the entire month of october right time is an illusion and energy is fluid and then we have the eight of wands and the king of wands there's going to be communication either going out or coming in someone's taking action here and communication is going to happen 
Some of you have been waiting on communication. And for some of you, this is meeting someone entirely new. And as I said, we've been channeling that energy. I know I have. And this can just be someone old coming in to communicate. This can also be someone new. This also eight does this eight of wands doesn't always have to be communication. Sometimes this can be a shift needing to take action to create movement in one's life also okay take it as it resonates beautiful energy as you can see the wheel will turn and that does create movement it all starts with the wheel six of swords calming your thoughts no longer is our thoughts frantic. This is like peace of mind. Moving on to calmer waters. Peace. All of a sudden now you feel peace because it's like you've learned all the lessons. Your slate is now clear. Something about the start of October, that energy we're feeling. A lot of us feel peace. Just peace within us. Even if you're single, you're finally at peace with that and going, you know what? I really do enjoy my singlehood. And I really am enjoying just each day. Really, it's not about me searching for a partner. I'm just enjoying being by myself. You know, it's really about living your best life. Ten of Pentacles. Financial abundance and success. Mm. It's also about time. Meeting somebody that is going to be possibly a lifetime partner. 10 can also be about completion. We also have 10 here with the Wheel of Fortune. Roman numeral X, 10. And then 10 of Pentacles. This is also about something solid. Something like very committed. Um, tangible. Very tangible. It's not just one pentacle. It's 10 of them. Which means when it rains, it fucking pours. So I feel like the person that you guys are going to be meeting. And it may not be the very first person that comes along. The person who is going to be the person that's going to be a lifetime partner is going to be someone very stable. Very stable. Strength flipped out. Strength. Leo. Leo energy. But strength is about having the strength to overcome something. Having the, You want to know what I feel immediately? I feel that... For those of you that this resonates with, it's about it was about having the strength to be patient. To have the strength to know that everything was going to come in divine timing. That's sometimes the hardest fucking thing to do is to surrender and to say, I trust you universe. And even though this is not happening when I want it to happen, I trust that this is going to happen in divine timing. That's what I feel this strength energy is about. It was about having the strength to surrender and to say, it'll happen when it's time. It was about being patient. Man, this patience is going to pay off too. There it is. The Fool. My favorite card in the entire deck. Because the Fool is a second chance. The Fool is a clean slate. It's a reset button. Zero. The Fool is about taking a leap of faith. Having this feeling also of just being like unattached. No longer being weighed down. Now you're just open to the infinite abundance in front of you. What path will I take? It's just this unbelievable energy of feeling free and light. And I feel like that's what's going to happen with us going into October this first week. Now, things could get a little bit heavy with, you know, like I said, Jupiter's going to be in Scorpio and then Venus is going to be retrograde in Scorpio. So a little bit in towards the middle to the ending of the month, we might start feeling the hits of things. But I feel like us rolling into October, this is how we're feeling. We're feeling like I'm ready and I don't have anything attached to me any longer my slate is now clean my slate is clean the moon cycles and phases illusions no longer what's gonna happen with this you know scorpionic pluto energy well i just feel like a lot of truths are going to be revealed and you know the other day or was it just yesterday i can't remember i pulled the truths unveiled isis oracle card and then you know today during my live on instagram we we're talking about that you know and then i think i channeled it in another reading the the blinders are just coming off and we're going to be just seeing things very clearly scorpio is a very intense deep feeling emotional sign and so if you're in a relationship you're going to be either number one realizing this person is not your ten of cups or realizing oh my god i'm really fucking in love like it's just completely cemented in it's going to be one one way or the other 
Um, it's also about, you know, Pluto is forced transformation. There's going to be a lot of transformations occurring this month. And I want to say it's not so much about self transformation, because I feel like a lot of people have already undergone their awakening and, you know, their big transformation as far as like, you know, going through the cocoon process coming out as a butterfly. This is a transformation of your fucking life. Isn't that insane? But that's what I feel. I feel like it's a fucking transformation of your life. Queen of Wands. It's just counterparts here because we also had the King of Wands. Two people being really passionate. Two people taking action. Doesn't matter about the signs. This is just two people. They're counterparts. They're the same vibrational frequency. And they are both taking action and they're both very passionate going into this new cycle. Could be the person that you're meeting. Three of Wands waiting for our ships to come in. And they have been shipped. I can assure you, waiting for your ships to come in. And honey, it's coming. Check the status. Oh, we're not taking all that. Check the status and it says shift. We have the four of swords. This is that card of surrender. You had to learn that to just kind of surrender into being patient. I swear to you, right? That was like one of the hardest lessons for myself. As an Aquarius sun sign, I am a type A personality and I like to control everything and I always need to know what the outcome is. But that's not how the universe rolls. I had to learn that lesson of just surrendering and letting go, trusting. Feels almost like this person is praying too, setting intentions out there also. Your seeds of intentions you've planted are coming into fruition. And then we have the chariot, which could be a Cancerian, but it's more so about whatever this is coming to you, whether this is a person or just abundance, it's coming in hot. This is also about balance too, that energy of balance. But I feel very importantly that this is coming in hot, like as, as like in quickly, like in fast. It's 1.11 a.m. here in Hawaii. I just want to point that out. One one one. One, one, one. My live reading I did on YouTube, people pointed out to me, was one hour and 11 minutes. And I thought, yeah, there's no fucking coincidences. This person's coming in hot if this is a person. Whew. Victory and success, too, with that chariot card. I might just take one more. I was looking at the temperance card on the bottom of the deck. It was catching my eye. Yep, Knight of Wands. I told you, very fast, quick energy, fast moving very aggressive moving very passionately if this is a new person that you end up meeting you guys will fall in love almost instantaneously and then you guys just move really quickly therefore like boom just fast no hesitation and to end this reading we have the sun which is the happiest card in the entire deck i said that earlier truths are going to be revealed or unveiled and the sun shines a light on anything that is hidden beautiful right the sun is also essential for growth. Look at what's on the bottom of the deck, the seven of pentacles. This is you planting your seeds of intentions. And then the sun comes in and does its job. And in time, in divine timing, you have harvest. How fucking beautiful and fitting is that? Ah, I absolutely love that, you guys. Anyways, this is your reading for Monday, October 1st. Don't forget, um, if you want to follow me on Instagram, xi underscore missy underscore xi, you must check out that live reading that I did. It only stays up for 24 hours. So, you know, don't delay and wait till it gets deleted. Um, this is beautiful. I just keep staring at the cards like it's finally coming. It's finally coming. The sun is starting to shine. And it is bringing so much truth. I will be doing a reading specifically, feeling out the energies of Venus going retrograde. I may also even tomorrow do a reading about Pluto going direct. I'll feel out the energies and see what messages I channel. Anyways, I'll see you guys soon, okay? Love you.